Oh, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for another video. This one's a renovation option that we come across as part of our house hunt. Uh, so there's a couple of things to just bear in mind when it comes to renovating a home uh, in Thailand. And the most important thing to remember is the cost of having a contractor come in and do the renovations for you is a tiny fraction of what you'd pay in Australia or some another Western developed country. So it really is an option here and usually the, sun, the one contractor can do everything, painting and whatever, whatever you want, cabinet work, the whole lot. But bear in mind it may seem daunting and why would you, you ask yourself why would you want to do it the cost of doing it compared to the west is very low so this place is four bedroom and three bathroom it's so such an interesting story behind this house that it was bought uh, brand new obviously by the current owner now he wasn't able to find a tenant he wanted to rent it out he couldn't find a tenant which means obviously that the rental uh, the cost of the rental was too high so he couldn't find a tenant so it was built in about 2010 so it has been completely vacant ever since and it's just sat here and no one's wanted to rent it out yeah, well, we'll try and find the reason for that, but uh, it's probably just simply that the rental price asked was uh, too high. But look, you can tell it's never been lived in. There's, for example, there's no water heaters in the showers. That cooktop that you just saw there is totally unmarked. So it's a really amazing and kind of weird thing to our eyes to see a house that was built in about 2010 and no one's ever lived in it um it's it's so funny um but look i'll i'll let you have a look around there's no air conditioning units in there which is probably a good thing because abandoned for that length of time they'd get eaten out by geckos and uh goodness knows what insects and snakes and everything and everything there'd be very not much left of them so they have to be replaced anyway so uh, at least that's one thing but the quality of the workmanship is pretty good um, it seems we're, we're not experts right we're not real estate agents or experts in any way um, but it seems to be as best we can tell reasonably sound structure structurally I mean, fancy letting the lawn go like that, but uh, it is what it is. So here's one of the bathrooms now. I think this is one of the downstairs ones. Never used. And you can tell it's never used because there's no water heat in or in there. Now, obviously, everything's a little bit dated with the colours and the styles and everything, but, you know, it's still perfectly functional. So, there, won't, there may not be too much to do. You may not need to, well, you wouldn't need to, unless you really wanted to. You wouldn't need to replace the toilets and vanity basins and so on, or replace a kitchen. See, there's some kind of damage to that wall there, but... It's probably not a big problem and can be easily fixed. You can get a building inspection done. I'm told that can cost around 200 US dollars, the equivalent of. A high pressure water blaster would do uh, a hell of a lot of good work here. And this, this yard here can be brought under control for probably, oh, probably a thousand baht at the most. Uh, 
So it's got aluminium sliding windows. So nothing's going to happen to them. Look, most of these houses in Thailand, there's not a lot of wood in them. Certainly not in the framing there. Uh, all built on concrete poles, concrete posts. Again, we're not experts in building, right? We don't know the technical terms and technical stuff about it. So you'd have to do your own due diligence on it. Which is of course what we would do if we bought it. We'd uh, get a, an inspection done and a quote on how much it'd cost to completely renovate it. We wouldn't do it ourselves, no way. No way, we're too old for that. Been there, done that, not again. See there's some uh, paint coming off here. So you might need to do some repainting or total repainting. There's also some wallpaper on some of the walls which is peeling a bit and that may need to be replaced. More than likely would be, would be requiring replacement or just removal and painting over. That toilet seat there just saw obviously uh, yellow because of the sun coming through the window. It changed change that. Another wall problem there. Staircase to us seem to be okay. Now look at those floors there, will you? They really are unmarked. They've got dirt and dust on them but to our eyes they seem to be in pretty good condition just a sweep and a mop down and then a bit of a polish probably another one of the bathrooms fairly standard tie design this one the doors seem okay we tried them all out none of them seem to be buckled or warped no signs of the windows leaking There's an outdoor balcony area with the spiral staircase. We'd probably take that spiral staircase out, but that's you might see it differently. We, we don't really like that. We just uh, get access to it from uh, one of the bedrooms there, I think the master bedroom. You could put a pool in downstairs if you wanted to. There's enough uh, lawn space, enough, sorry, enough, enough land to uh, to put a pool in. See, this would be quite nice here. Repainted and cleaned, obviously. Just um, surfaces prepared, then repainted. Or removed altogether, that staircase. The house is in the La Valley estate. It's a huge estate and it's got uh, security on the entry point, the one point of entry. So it's a really nice complex. You'll see a bit later some views of around inside the complex in the general vicinity of this house. Really, there's a lot of people living here, very nice to walk around. Ride your bike, whatever you want to do. See, with renovations, as you know, you can do it as grand or as basic as you really want.
you could get this uh, home into a livable situation for very little money. One of the mirrors in one of the bathrooms is cracked. That's the worst problem, that, apart from those issues with the walls. That's really the worst problem there. That would, that's no problem to fix. It's just dirty. Just needs to be cleaned. Okay, so now we're looking at just outside and nearby to the house. These are all private roads here. These roads are part of the uh, the estate. So it's been around a few years, this estate, quite obviously. But we are in a tropical country, so you get that black mould and everything. If it stands still for 10 minutes, it'll be covered in black mould. <laughs> but a water, brush, a water blaster gets that off easily. See, the trees along the street are established. The houses each side of the one in question are quite nice and well looked after. So here's some more uh, views now of the estate itself. This is the road that leads into and out of the complex. Look, I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. It is something a bit different, but as I mentioned earlier on in the video, you just bear in mind that the cost of renovations, getting a contractor to do it, do the work here in Thailand is a tiny fraction of what you would pay in Australia where we come from or any other comparable Western country so it really is an option if you want to go down that path but there are so many houses on the market here in Hua Hin and throughout the rest of Thailand you may not feel like it's worth it but we're seriously considering this one but we certainly wouldn't do the renovations ourselves So please subscribe, leave us a comment. It'd be great if you could just click the like button as well. We have plenty more of these videos, uh, uh, home hunting videos to come. We've shot a lot of footage. It's just a matter of me getting down now to getting them uh, edited and, and up on uh, YouTube. But there are plenty, plenty to come. Thank you very much to all our subscribers. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much to everyone that leaves a comment. It really helps. And we do our level best to answer every comment. If you need to know anything, you're better off putting a, 
uh, a comment on one of our videos rather than sending us an email because we always get to the comments. There's a security guard there and that's the access from the complex La Vallee out onto the main street. Cheers, catch you next time.